name is Ashley Gatewood and I am the communications and marketing director at CFRE International. Today I am joined by Rebecca Winnell, who became a CFRE in June 2023. She is the first person in Sweden to earn their CFRE designation. So thank you so much for having some time to catch up today, Rebecca. Thank you for hosting me. <laughs> What made you decide to pursue the CFRE credential? Well, I first heard about it at IFC. It's a big conference in Holland every year for fundraisers from around the world. Um, I had been waiting to go for it for a number of years, so I was thrilled to find the global community of fundraisers there from every continent. And there you had a stand uh, for CFRE and talked to a few of your colleagues who spoke a bit more about it, and it caught my interest as Fund, as a fundraiser, I often have major donors that have assets in other countries from Sweden, where I'm at the moment, or that have an international experience. And so I thought this would be really valuable to kind of broaden my skill set in the work I do here in Sweden. Excellent, excellent. And why do you think that it is important for fundraising professionals in Europe to hold a globally recognized credential and benchmark their knowledge against globally accepted best practices? Well, for me, it was a way of showing my commitment to the career and also to show my employer that this is something that I wanted to hold to a very high standard because it's the only accreditation I know of that you have to keep working on. It's not something you get like a bachelor's degree and then you're done with it uh, for the rest of your life. This is something you need to keep on top of and study and do things to keep to keep that that level of excellence. So I, I was really attracted to that. Um, and why? Well, in Sweden, I find here, I don't know if it's like that in every country, there's very few fundraiser professionals. So it means a lot of charities take on people that worked in other sectors beforehand, which can be helpful if they have a role where that is relevant. But for pure fundraising like I am, I want to be a cut above the rest that are taken in from other sectors and to stay in my profession that I love. And again, to show my commitment um, to it by keeping it very high standard. That makes sense. And that's the same in North America and Australia and so many other places where a lot of people come into fundraising, but they may not necessarily have a long background in the nonprofit sector. For sure. While preparing for the CFRE exam, many CFREs tell us that they learned things while preparing that they were able to put into action in their fundraising practice. Was that your experience? And if so, how did preparing for the exam inform any part of your fundraising practice? Yeah, absolutely. So like everyone, we have very busy lives. So my the plan I had was to study regularly, but it was more of a crash before the exam, <laughs> to be honest, but it did embolden me in the things I do at work day to day. Uh, so I've had, I've been in the fundraising profession for now 11, 12 years. And during that time, my current employer I've now been with for seven years, you get a bit of um, internal process fatigue, um, I would call it, where you, you kind of, you give up some of the processes where you rely on your colleagues to do uh, if it's IT steps or if it's finance or if it's the leadership team that need to get to a decision for you to then take on the next step. Um, so the CFRE study book that I had uh, from you actually emboldened me to push them a bit more and not sit back and wait and give up and have that fatigue set in. So that has then in turn actually brought in a few more gifts and had me sit down with my chief executive and train him in donor meetings and in what I do uh, to get him to make those decisions that I, I need him to do in his capacity as chief executive of a charity. So it has helped uh, tremendously. So if it's not, a, I wouldn't call it maybe a kick up the backside, but it is actually <laughs> what it did <laughs> in some respects. Well, that's great to hear. And it always makes me smile when people can say that some part of the CFRE process, they can tangibly say, hey, it helps bring this gift in that if I hadn't gone through this process, we might not have secured. So it's excellent to hear that you've had the CFRE credential for several months, but it's already been translating into successes within your role. And my last question for you is for fundraising professionals in Europe that might be interested in becoming a CFRE, what is your advice to them? 
I would say to anyone actually in any continent, uh, if you like myself, love your career in the fundraising sector, want to stay in it, keep the highest possible standard and show to your employers and future employers too, that you are, you have, you have it what it takes, uh, then go for it. Uh, here is not very well known, so it was something I had to pay for myself. I'm hoping that the more of us get it uh, in Europe or in any continent or anywhere, the more employers will be willing to help their staff uh, get it and and support them financially um, and with time to study as well. So I had to set aside uh, my private money to pay for it and I was allowed to do the exam on work time but all the study was done outside of work so I'm hoping it will smooth the way for others in the future not just in Sweden or Scandinavia or Europe but anywhere the more of us there are hopefully the more recognized it gets and gets easier um, for newcomers to to get gain this accreditation. That's my hope. That's a so great go point. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, excellent advice. And it's um, great that you did self fund. We do have 46% of people self fund and 54% of people get some support from their employer, whether that's covering part or all of the costs. So I think that there are uh, definitely folks like yourself who make that investment in themselves and that's excellent to see. But to your point, it's yes, we definitely hope here that more and more employers see the value and are able to set aside some budget money to invest in their staff through earning the CFRE designation. I hope so very much. Well, thank you so much for having the time to talk with me today, Rebecca. It was great to meet you and thank you for sharing your experience. Thank you, Ashley, and good luck to everyone. Thanks.